All right, guys. Got a little ahead of myself today. My little brother came over to help me, and uh, I gave him a job to do without even thinking about videoing it. So he took apart my bench seat. This is the seat that I'm going to put inside the pan panel truck back here. So the Pomona panels get an, an old bench seat. Actually, it's not an old bench seat. It's just, well, 30 years ago, Dodge Caravan, third row bench seat. It's technically an antique, but it's not, you know. Normally, I don't like to run newer parts just for the aesthetic of traditional hot rodding. But I only got one bench seat with the panel truck. Or actually, I only got one uh, bucket seat with the panel truck because that's all it had because it was actually a plumber's truck before. So um, I had this one and I thought, eh, this will work actually because then you can make a, a nice bench in the front, which they never had, and make it really more comfortable. So I'm going to narrow it three inches and then I'm also going to curve the front uh, corners in. Let me show you. So here's the bottom. So the seat is just really square, but I'm going to have to curve those in a little bit because that panel truck is so narrow at the cow compared to the B pillar that both of those, both the back, this is the seat back. It actually folds up and lays right on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow narrow both frames. And then this one will get angled in from the hinge point here. Get angled in a little bit. And then this one also to match it. So it'll have just a little bit of a curve in. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys how to narrow these. And then my upholster said don't mess with the foam. That's the foam pieces. There's the back cardboard piece. There's the bottom. And there's the seat back. So he's going to cut those down for me once I get those shaped. So when he does, he's going to fill in all the lines on it so it will not look like a Dodge Caravan seat. So if I'm at a car show and you see the panel truck, don't ask me about the Dodge Caravan seat. I will ignore you because it's gonna be actually just a custom killer bench seat. Let's get going. All right, guys. Let's get chopping. I'm gonna start by taking two inches right out of the middle and, uh, and then test fit it, see where we're at. I'll have to put the brackets back on the sides and put the top on it. But the shape of that cab is really narrow at the at the A pillars. The B pillars are quite a bit wider, so I'm gonna to have to end up leaning this in a little bit. I think I'm gonna lean it in probably inch and a half, two inches maybe, just to give me that that shape to fit the doors. Then I'll have to do the same thing on the top so that when it lays down, it matches up with this as well. So let's get this thing apart. Okay, pry every one of these little tabs up. Give me a mold. Pull this whole spring mechanism off here. Get those off of there. As you go. Set that aside, set all the springs aside, because we're going to use that in this little strip here. That keeps that from making noise. Alright, we'll take that piece of angle iron right there and clamp that together and tack that and see where we're at. Looks like I need to clean that off a little bit. Let's get our safety equipment back on.
It works for me. So it looks pretty good. So you can see the edge right there is very close to the door. Once that gets padding on it, it'll be up on the door. So I definitely need to take minimum an inch out of there on that front corner. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut it here and cut this off and just lean that back over into it. It's set right in there. It's set right right there. That'll be just about right. So that way the back can fold down because the back's going to fold flat, and that's going to give me the opportunity to be able to get anything right in here instead of having to go all the way around and climb in and get it. So that'll make it a lot easier. I can keep the cooler right there kind of handy. We'll be able to get to it pretty simple so but i think that that's going to work so i just need to i'm going to go ahead and put the brackets on there test fit it again i may go ahead and cut the back and do it two inches narrower and mock it all up with the side brackets to see where we're at i think that's a good idea all right that one's done we'll set that over here well for now this one's going to be a little bit easier to do because it's got braces in it already, so shouldn't have any issues with that. So the first thing we're going to eliminate is we're going to eliminate these, these headrest tubes. Those are coming off. All four of those are going to come off and won't need those. And then we'll uh, we'll trim this brace off and save it, narrow it, and put it back on. Is that right, y'all? Set it up. See, see where we're at. Ugh. Okay, I can already tell you that handle back there ain't gonna jive. somewhere cut myself again I'll tell you what this frame right here has got a lot of super sharp edges on it where they just they just got stamped out slapped together they never expected anybody to pull it apart and want to work on it 
that's actually not bad right there. I kind of dig that. Yeah, now, my doors. Yep. Super close. But I don't know if I have it centered, but it's pretty, pretty darn close to being centered. So I still need to notch that. I'm going to mark that pipe where I think I'd like about two inches. Two inches off of that door. That'll give me enough room for the padding and the material. That don't look bad right there though. That actually looks like it would be pretty comfortable. And like I said, I, I'll figure something out as far as a seat bracket or something underneath there that I can put a put a drawer or something to you know get to. I could even put my battery under there. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I'm not I'm not gonna worry about that being too high or seeming like it's too high. I think that would be pretty darn good. See what the cushion is. Let's just try it. Hopefully we won't fall on camera here. Yeah, I got nothing to hold me up. Man, that, that's probably not bad. And what happened there? Okay, it kind of moved. That's not bad. I'm kind of all right with that, guys. I don't think I even need to narrow the top. I'll be going to pull it in to match the bottom, but it's shorter. You can see it's a little shorter. And it... All right, I guess we'll take this thing back apart, and we'll, uh, I got a few pieces of scrap here that I can weld up in the slots, and we should be kind of good to go. So, knock that out. All right, here's the passenger side. See how close it is to the door right there? It's only like maybe an inch and an eighth. Okay, let's go to the driver's side. Now look at that. That looks a lot nicer. And it doesn't look to pulled in so that's absolutely perfect I can get about two inches of fingers in there. Yep. There, there. Two inches. Let's see what we got on that side. Doors closed. Oh, right at two inches. Or two fingers. Man, that's perfect. Well, probably start engineering a bottom mount for that seat now now that we know right where it's at we've got it narrowed perfectly we've got it angled a little bit we'll we're going to figure out a bottom mount for it and then once we get the bottom mount done we we'll send it off to the upholstery shop it's going to be black vinyl good looking black vinyl so um i think that's going to be pretty rad it's going to fit perfect in the upholstery shop's going to make it look a little older, not like new stuff, so that'll be good. <laughs> All right, we've been working on the seat frame, and we've got it set 
where we wanted at uh, as far as height what i did was i measured my my uh, 34 coop measured the height from the floor here up to the padding which was about 14 inches before i sat down in it measured the front here up to the where the tow board starts and that's at about 21 inches so we have that set and uh the the dash the distance from the floor to the top of the dash right in there is about 31 inches or so so it's about the same as the coupe it looks extremely low right now because there's no padding on it but the padding will come up about right in here so that uh i think that should work what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a bracket an l bracket to fit under here to bolt to this and then it'll come down I'll trim this wood here so that I can mount directly into that wood brace down there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a nice solid wood brace. So I'll make two of those back in the back and in the front. I've got a piece that's going to come up here. It's going to come from here up and then straight over. The seat will bolt in here through that. And then I'll have another leg right in here that'll connect down to a flat piece and I'll bolt right to that wood here's what I laid out for the front so that should work pretty good for the front we'll just put a bolt right in there a nice fat bolt that way it's not too uh, too cheesy looking and then I have dug around <laughs> and found these that I pulled off of a Plymouth which are going to work perfect for filling in the gap there and I've got the stainless trim that goes on them I've got it over there on the bench I've already taken this one off so I'll trim that to fit right around the front of that and up that'll be perfect okay we're going to put 45s on the ends we're going to run it flat like this with a leg down and a leg angled to it, we're going to cut the ends at a 45. Nice clean edge on there. Okay, dokie. There we go. That's going to sit like that. Uh -huh. Then, uh, since I'm, I need to have 37 inches wide, so I'm going to attach one side then I'll, I'll adjust this one to fit 37. That's squared up in there. That's good. Oh, here we go. Let's go see if it fits. Looks pretty darn good, don't you think? It's like something I've seen before but I can't think of what it is. Let's go try it. All right, let's see what we got here. Now I raised it up a little bit and I measured because I wanted that seat bottom to be kicked back a little bit. This makes it a little bit more comfortable. So, I think we're looking pretty good there. Let's just rotate that back. We'll move them out of there. That's gonna work, y'all. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm toying with the idea of a drawer because I've got all this space in here. I could put a drawer in here and put all kinds of goofy stuff. I'm thinking about doing that. I think that would work pretty good, actually.
see if we can get this thing off of here. Maybe. That's going right in the trash. I've got this 50 mark door handle, passenger door handle. I thought that'd be all right to put on there. And we can uh, replace that plastic piece with that handle. I've got that one or a 40. And I kind of like I kind of like the looks of the of the Mercury one. It just kind of looks neat and it's got a round little bezel to it there which matches the scutcheon or whatever you call these things. The little trim. So it matches it pretty well. It's solid. Open the little Loctite won't hurt. Put on there. There you go. Now I just need to cut those screws off. Just put a little slice to it. I think I'll just go ahead and do that. That way I can get it in there. Check that out. And the, the little set screws hold the trim in place. Nut off there, and you can see the set screw in there. Little bitty tiny set screw, both sides, and that thing's not going nowhere. And that goes on there, clicks in. Having my nut. Then the nut goes back on there. There you go. Now we'll be able to use that so that old plastic. <laughs> All right, let's drop her in the back in the truck. Go. What's that one? That works perfect. Looks a lot better too. Oh, it looks way better. Cool. Show you what we've done. We got the seat in there. We made this cool little bracket in front. We bolted it down here, right through that wood cross member, and we have an opening in the middle that we may use for a um drawer possibly so you've got the rear brackets made here see them i'm going to bolt i've got three bolt holes there on each one of those and they're going to bolt right through that wood piece and then they're bolted here to the factory spot so it's looking pretty darn good we've got a couple things to do got to drill those six bolt holes there and then I think we can put the spring stuff back in there. We'll have to trim it down to make it fit because we narrowed it two inches in the middle, one inch on the side here. And you can see when the thing gets in there, how much space we have on the door, which is good because we want that little bit of space there that keeps uh. That thing was square to begin with, so and I was afraid it was already almost touching the door on that side. So let's swing around over here. I'll show you the hand, handle we put in. There's the killer handle. 50 Merc. Works pretty good. Just made a little, little round bracket there for that scooching to mount to. And then bolted it right through there. Weld it her up. So that's going to work perfect, I think. We're almost ready for the upholstery shop. 
we'll need to cut this and make it fit before we even mess with the trim. So, I think I'm going to kind of eyeball it, maybe make, take a couple measurements here, see what we can do. Probably take this measurement here, figure that out, and then uh, start cutting over here on the side. Trim this off and start making it to fit that just a little by little. I think these were off of like a, I want to say like a 49 Plymouth. I think that's what it's from. So you do that. Oh gosh, that's almost, almost just right. Didn't know I was gonna sneak that good on it. What do you guys think? I'm gonna work on it. That's what it takes right there. You gotta cut it down. And we're good to go. Got our little material back on there, handles in. Our trim is ready, we got both sides cut. So it's ready to come out now and go to the upholstery shop. I'm pretty excited about that. That's going to look killer. So the only thing we'll have to do after we get it back from the upholstery is we'll have to move these side panels around. And I think there's a hole in that one. You can see it for the original seat adjuster. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another one of these handles in there and make it uh, just a dummy handle. That way it'll fill that hole up. So that's what it takes to uh, make a custom bench seat. We're going to get this thing out, send it over to upholstery, follow along. We're going to have an update on this seat. It will, uh, we'll probably show it, pro probably do another little uh, short video. We'll show it, show the sides and everything, And but uh, we'll do that later. For now, this is the end of the video. Like, share, and subscribe. See you guys.